They hide behind their paper mache masks of perfection. Their eyes sting me like daggers into an already breaking body. They sit with their plastic families that appear to be perfect with their precisely placed hair and perfectly fitted clothing. Their clothing, their camouflage. Their perfect plastic paper paradisic multi-million dollar building, their battleground. Their battleground they used to prey on the weak, broken, and lost like a vulture that preys on an injured rodent. I walk in and the plastic people know that it's time to hunt me. They shoot me down with stares and prayers and pastors that tell me everything that I'm not but I should be. I'm tired of hearing prayers for me out of spite the same way soldiers are tired of hearing guns go off, the same way the plastic people are tired of watching my ruins, the same way we're tired of people starving. These plastic people worship the materialism that has been forced upon them like the parasitic paper cut wounds that were forced upon me. The materialism that is their very worth because God knows the best people pay the highest amount of cash. I've been tired of these plastic paper perfect people that spill their paper dollars into their perfect pristine pews, buildings, and paper baskets. But as I sip my coffee, I put in my silver coins and issues. They burden themselves with my silver problems problems that weigh down their paper hearts, their paper hearts that will turn the other way as soon as they see that silver is too much to bear, as soon as they see my shattered stone-cold silver soul, my silver soul that cries silver tears that has a stone-cold surface that is stuck in its own shattered fragments. My heart is heavy even though it is broken. The shards cut the paper people with their sharp silver stone scattered pieces like glass pressing into your foot after you forget to clean it up. I'll be here sitting in the paper pews forever, wondering why I only break these petty paper people.